Today I'm going to be taking some photos with a smartphone to accentuate the beard and the mustache. Hmm. Stick around. Taking any ordinary photo that you may have and just doing a little bit of adjustment, the tone, the contrast, the color, the saturation, make sure you do some cropping. You can go pretty extreme with this as well, as you can see here. Zooming in is vital. and. Most of the time, not putting yourself in the center of the photo gives a little bit more of a dynamic feel to it. So the visual quality in here is not so good for the video recorder as we're in the bathroom and we're just using this light behind us. That's the only light source we have in this room right now uh, because this room without that would be fully dark. So very little light and we're just going to use the basic exposure that's set up on the camera phone. So this has got the um, the back facing camera. You can see the image that's on the front of it. And I'm going to be utilizing the mirror to photograph my face. For accentuating the beard, that one light, we should get a good um, visual image and then we'll do some editing. Uh, just all done on a smartphone. This is a Samsung Galaxy Note 9, so it does have some good editing features and capabilities. It's a good phone. So I'll see if I can get a visual here for you to see. And that's what I'm doing. I'm looking using the mirror to look at this image so I'll know at what angle to take the photo. And you can already get a sense of some of the visual here. We can bring this up. One of the important things to do when you're taking photos and you're wanting to get a selfie or you want to get a self-portrait or um, if you want to accentuate you know, someone's eyes or hair or facial hair, um, take a lot of photos, a lot of different poses, a lot of angles. Better to have a lot of photos to choose from than not enough that you're, you are a client wouldn't be happy with. So I'm going to take a bunch of photos. We're going to pick one and then we're going to just take the basic editing features, do some cropping, changing the lighting and the exposure around a little bit. But this is going to give a good first, um, just sort of a raw photo to work from. So now that we have these photos, we'll do some basic editing. So here's that photo we just took. And now we're going to just do a little bit of cropping on it. And when you're happy with that part, you just hit save. It's saving the newest copy as well as the previous copy. I like to use this filter in the vignette and it just adds a little bit of darkness around the edges. You don't want to go too extreme, but by tapping the screen I can see what it looks like with the effect and without. And I'm going to go ahead and save that. Next is the values of brightness, exposure, contrast, and where we can adjust the colors. And now I'm going back into the color setting. Generally when you bring the contrast up it pulls a little bit more color up so I'm adjusting that down. You can take it all the way down to grayscale. You could bump it up further if you wanted to really enhance the color. Now that I've got it in grayscale I'm just going to change the 
contrast a bit more. And there are filters where you can do this. Best not to get carried away. Don't go too far extreme unless that's the look you're going for. But if you want it to be a little more subtle, uh, play around with the sliders and just um, just add a little enhancement. As you can see there, it's the before and after. So I'm just bringing that down a little bit more and once again saving it. There's a lot of versatility with this. As you keep going, here's another filter. This gives a sense of a light being off to the upper right hand corner. So I'm going to use that because that's where a light source is, but I'm just going to bring it way down. Now I'm just going to add a little bit of sharpness. It's pretty hard to see the video recording, but it does make a subtle difference in some of the highlighted areas. And you can see here, I'm going to hit a couple of filters to give you a sense of what control you have over your images. You can tone these down with the slider control, and you may want to use them. Some of these more tan looking photos are great for old sepia tone effects. But you can adjust each of those down. You could keep adding on different effects by adding the effect, saving it, and then working on it again. Each step that you save, you can go back. If you feel you went too far, you can just trace back and you can see all the images here. And now we can go through them from where we began and you can slide up to the next one we saved and just keep going. And here's the original photo that we took. And now the edited version. Don't be afraid to be a little bit daring with your camera. Take an area like your nose, chin, mustache, beard, just one small area and work on that. Here's a camera angle that was a little bit different, something I wouldn't generally use. But when you crop it, you add a few effects. I decided to turn this into a black and white and change the values and contrast a little bit, you end up with something unexpected. This one again, and taking that and cropping it down. This one I thought was a pretty goofy looking photo. Not something I would have used, but once I cropped out the forehead and the expression I had in my forehead wrinkles, uh, and then just enhancing it down into a black and white and then uh, close up. And this again, just basically going from a color to a black and white. I like the black and white, but you can absolutely do a lot with color. So as you can see, there's really a lot you can do with just using a smartphone. And there's a lot more tricks than that. If you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Let me know in the comments if you like this video, if it's helpful in any way, and if you'd like to see any more tips and tricks that I might have uh, for photographing a face or for photographing objects. I also have art tutorial videos and videos on my journey towards decluttering and minimalism. Be sure to subscribe. Thanks again for watching.